Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Daniel and I'm a former engineer and I'm running an online course creation agency. In this video, we are gonna be talking about how I do my monthly reviews and we are going to be following this structure. First, to give you a little bit of background, we are gonna be covering briefly how my task management system works. Then I'm gonna be talking about the differences between my weekly and my monthly reviews because yes, they are not the same. I don't repeat the same process every time. And finally, we are going to cover the full process that I do every month. So let's get into it. So as I said, before getting started, let me give you a little bit of an overview of how my system works. I'm using a four-tiered system containing pillars, goals, outcomes, and tasks. The pillars are those immobile structures that sustain my life. And without any of them, my life will fall into pieces. And the goals are the intangibles of what I want to achieve. And the outcomes are their quantifiable manifestation. And finally, the tasks, are the day-to-day -day things that I need to get done. So then in my Notion system, I have four different databases for each of these tiers. So now let's talk about the difference between weekly and monthly reviews. But before we get started, I just released a video about how I do my weekly reviews in which I explain why doing reviews is important in the first place. So if you haven't watched it, click the link in one of these two corners so you can watch it first. So in the weekly review, we were focusing on the day-to-day -day tasks and also other some smaller periodic tasks, such as organizing our computer's desktop or going to Inbox Zero. But during the monthly review, our objective is to gain even more perspective than with the weekly reviews. So we are going to be focusing on the pillars, the goals and the outcomes. Normally those have quarterly deadlines and are the ones that dictate what our day-to-day -day tasks should be. So therefore the objective of this monthly review is to ensure that our life is always going in the right direction. So to better understand the purpose of this review, we can think of a boat. Whenever we are turning the wheel, we are doing so to make sure that we are heading towards the right direction, right? So this will be our goals and outcomes, the direction of our life. And once we get the wheel pointing towards the right direction, it is the turn of our day-to-day -day tasks to bring us closer and closer to that objective. So our monthly review is making sure that our life's wheel is always pointing in the right direction. Now, monthly reviews are, as its own name said, done every 30 days, and I always do them in the last day of every month, regardless of which day it is. So now, without any further ado, let's go to Notion to show you how I do my reviews. So first, I'm gonna go to my periodic review page that I use for doing my weekly and monthly reviews, and I'm gonna show you the template that I use. First of all, we are gonna start by seeing all the tasks that I have completed this month. This is completely optional, but I like to see what I got done during the whole past month because it will also make it easier to answer the reflection questions that are below. So first, I'm gonna take a moment to watch all my tasks and then I'm gonna start reflecting about the month. First, I'm gonna write my month's gratitude so this, I'm gonna focus on all the things that happened during that month, and I'm gonna say one thing that I'm grateful for. And I'm gonna write it here. Next thing will be my wins and celebrations. So again, this will be one win or celebration that I wanna highlight for the month. And same thing for lows and challenges. And to finish this reflection process, I'm gonna write here what I have learned throughout the month. This is a very good exercise to do because just by reflecting about one thing that you have learned throughout the month, in retrospective, can spark different lessons that we have learned from those of our weekly review. But if they are the same, just write the same. So once we are done with our reflection, we are gonna go to the goals and outcomes part. First of all, I'm gonna check which is the outcome's current progress because maybe some of the outcomes are already achieved. So I'm gonna check in all of them. I'm gonna open this toggle and check if any of these have already been achieved. So as you can see, it's not the case, so I move on to the next step. Next, I'm gonna do the same for the goals. In this toggle, I'm just showing the goals which all their outcomes have already been achieved. So in this case, all these two outcomes have been achieved, so therefore I can complete each of these goals. Next up is going to be updating the deadlines that I have given for my goals and outcomes. So here I'm gonna check that all the quarters are consistent, 
but for example this is already Q3 and now is the end of Q3 so probably I'm gonna have to move this to Q4 and I'm gonna do the same with the outcomes so here take into account that I'm showing the same databases over and over but for different purposes so here I'm just showing the goal and the quarter because I'm just changing the quarters here I will do the same for, for this I will, I will change all these quarters and next up I'm going to take a look at the same database but thinking what is this goal or outcome for just by asking this question I'm going to double check if I still want to pursue this goal or outcome so I'm just going to open the active goals and outcomes list and check if I need to delete something next up I have a property for all the goals and status that is working on it, on hold, or achieved. So here I'm going to check all the goals and outcomes that are on hold to think whether I want to resume them or not. These are all the on hold and the outcomes are all the on hold. So maybe I want to resume some of them. Once I have done this, I'm going to go through the goals and outcomes adding process. So this process starts by looking at my pillars database. In this database, I'm aggregating all the information throughout all my databases. So here I'm showing the active goals for each of the pillars, the active outcomes and the on hold outcomes. I'm showing the on hold outcomes because like this, if I figure out that, for example, this business administration pillar is not taken care of, maybe it's because I have to resume some of these on hold outcomes. So I will not have to add a new one, but to resume a past one. And as you can see, just by looking at this left column, I can see whether my life pillar are taken care of or not. Here you can see the formula just in case you want to copy the, the idea. So now if I find an unattended pillar, I have three options. As I said, the first option is to resume one of the goals or outcomes that are on hold. So if that is the case, I will just come back up and resume any of those. The second option to add a new goal and outcome. So for this, I will go back here and I will add a new goal. This goal will be attached to one or more outcomes and to one pillar. And here I'm gonna see the newly added outcomes and put a status to them, set an outcome deadline and also tag it to a pillar. Here you can see that I'm just showing the outcomes that has been created today. Or the third option will be to be okay with not attending that pillar this particular month. In this case, I will just continue my process and that is it. So once I'm done doing this process, I will come back to the pillars database and check it one more time to make sure that consciously I know what I'm doing and I have added everything that I want to add or I have deliberately chosen to don't focus on a pillar in particular. Once I have done all these iterations, I will continue my monthly review. Next step will be to review the finances of the current month. If I open this toggle, I will see all the income that I've had during the current month because I have another database that I use just to input all my different incomes. And that database is going to be linked to my month's database. So here I will just see the income that I've had for this month. Next up, I will calculate the money that I have in all my bank accounts and investment accounts, etc. And I will input those numbers into an Excel spreadsheet. I would also have the option to embed this Google spreadsheet, but I find that these embeds don't work very well in my opinion. So I prefer to throw the link here, go to Google Chrome, fill it there and come back to Notion. I like to do this because this way I can see what my progression with money is being throughout all the month. So it's a good way to assess how well I'm doing. And to finish, this is the only task related thing that I do in my monthly review is to take a look at the tasks that I have tagged as I will do them someday because maybe I want to resume them. So here the urgency is someday. If I find any task that I want to resume, I will just change the urgency to any of these three. And that task will appear in my weekly review. So that is it guys, this is my monthly review. For me, this part of my system is super important to have an even bigger vision of where my life is going. And when I pair it with my weekly reviews, I make sure that I'm always going where I wanna go. So feel free to give it a try. Even if it can seem a lot of work to set up and to follow, I can guarantee you that these reviews are the cornerstone of my productivity. So if you're interested in building a system like this for yourself and you have any doubt, 
Don't hesitate to contact me on Twitter. I'm very active there and send me a DM and we can discuss how to move forward. Or if you want a made for you solution, I will leave a link to my systems Notion template in the description below. And this template includes the whole backend system of pillars, goals, outcomes, and tasks, along with these two weekly and monthly reviews that we have covered in these two videos, plus a very good bonus that I love. So I hope you liked this video and you found it useful. If you're trying any weekly or monthly review, tell me in the comments how it looks like, how it differs from mine, because we, we can all nurture each other. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more productivity weekly videos. So until next time.